Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Oh my gosh, it has been a hot minute since I have been back in filming and it just feels so good to be back. I am finally done with midterms. That's why I haven't been filming as much. I was just spending as much time as possible with school and then studying. But I'm done, thank God. I have spring break this week, so that's gonna be fun. I'm just gonna stay home and relax, go to the beach and stuff, finally get my tan back. I just wanted this video to be a super chill one where I just get to sit down and just talk to you guys. And today I'm gonna show you some of the most recent makeup things that I picked up. I have another new hair color to show you guys this week and I'm actually feeling it. It's blonde, it's different. This wig is from a brand I have never ever tried before. I'm just gonna do like a little quick review on them because you know how much I love my wigs and you guys are loving the wigs too, so I'm glad. This wig is from a company called Fesh Fen. Obviously, in this little package comes the little wig right here, and it says that it the color is ash blonde straight. It is a synthetic lace front hair, and it says it's 180% density. There's a lot of goodies in here, actually. I was like, dang, this is a this is a nice box of stuff. It does come with a hairbrush, of course. This is actually the first time where I've tried a wig company where they didn't have like the tingle teaser kind of brush. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that weird shape but this is just like an actual hairbrush next up is just uh, I should have shown this first but yeah this is just a little pamphlet of theirs and um, has their website and all like the care tips that you have for synthetic haired wigs next up it does come with some wig caps and this is actually my most favorite kind of wig cap it's like the fishnet one where it doesn't have like a full like cover it has like a hole at the top however I did not use this because it's black I don't prefer using black wig caps just because that's not really the color of my natural scalp. So I just like to stick with my nude wig cap. It came with like this really adorable like hand pocket mirror and it's actually really heavy and good quality. I was like, oh, this is cute. Um, so I'm just gonna keep this in my backpack but it just has their logo on it. Just your mirror here if you just wanna do some touch ups, pluck your eyebrows, you know. <laughs> and then last up, this is actually really, really cute and I wasn't expecting this but it did come with hair and body tattoos and basically these are just flash tattoos and I think they put this in here just because it's festival season coming up. Um, I remember it was such a trend last year especially during Coachella that people would put um, like tattoos in their hair. Like not permanent tattoos obviously but just like you know the stick on flash tattoos. I'm not going to any music festivals because I'm broke and I can't afford to go to any of them. Alright, so now onto the wig. Like I said, it is a lace front synthetic hair wig. Um, so the lace only ends right about there and then once you get the wig, it does come with a chunk of lace that you need to cut off. So I made the part to go in the middle. So basically, all you gotta do is to just take a pair of tweezers and just keep tweezing out as much hair as needed just to open up that part. And just take any concealer that you have, something that kind of matches the color of your scalp and just kind of fill that in just to make it a little bit more prominent and defined. All in all, I actually really, really like it. It's really nice and comfortable. There's nothing like crazy going on with like the way that I put it on. There wasn't any much shedding going on. The only thing that was really bothering me was how super shiny and fake the actual hair looked like. Um, it looked very, very synthetic and that's what I was kind of expecting because it is more of like a blonde, whitish color, but that is very easily fixed. All you gotta do is take some dry shampoo. I took my Orbe dry texturizing spray and just kind of like sprayed it everywhere just to kind of mattify it and also just to give it a little bit more texture. But overall, I really do love the wig. If you guys do wanna check out their website, I'll have everything linked down below and also the link to my specific hair if you guys want to check it out. Pretty much all I got for the wig review, so let's just go ahead and jump right into the makeup haul. The majority of this makeup is from Macy's because I did a pretty big purchase and I did a lot of damage on Macy's. I got a bunch of these stuff from Macy's just because they had their VIP sale. Whenever that happens, they have 15% on all of their makeup stuff, so I was like, hell yeah, I'm gonna buy makeup. Cause I've been like saving up my money and I haven't bought an I haven't gotten any new makeup for myself like in the past few months. Um, so this is just really, I don't know, this makes me so happy. First up, I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and this is in the color Light to Media. And this product has been out for a long, long time. And surprisingly, this is the first ever time I've ever tried this product out. I am actually using the contour colors today. I actually only used one. So this is what it looks like. It's a little bit smaller than what I would like it to be. The only color that I used is this middle shade right here here. just wish I had a mirror just because I'm so used to having palettes with mirrors now, but I mean, that's okay. 
<laughs> All right, next up is something completely new to me, and I am so excited about this one. So this is the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder, and this is in the translucent or their original color. I know I love Sara Yi raves about it, and also Patrick Star raves about it, so that's why I had to get it. And Derma Blend is actually a makeup brand that is known to have foundations and concealers that are so full coverage that they can cover up tattoos and I have yet to try that out yet. I really want to test that out and try it on my arm or something so that'll be cool. I've been using my Kat Von D Lock It Loose Translucent Powder and I actually really don't like that one. I, I use it so often because it's so like it's in a place where it's easy for me to get and I usually am in a hurry when I do my makeup but the Kat Von D Translucent Powder is super dry and I don't know why I keep using it so I'm glad I have this new guy right here so I used it for the first time today I baked with it and this powder is so freaking amazing like I, I know it's my first time using it but initially it was oh my gosh my skin was like it is like photoshopped it is so good um, this powder is so so incredibly fine milled like you think that the Laura Mercier is like you know fine milled which it is but like once you put your beauty blender or your brush in here it's like velvety and like super smooth it's 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 pretty insane I think this one is a little bit cheaper than the Laura Mercier one I'm not sure I think this one is like $29 so I finally repurchased my origins checks and balances face wash and I did not expect it to be this ginormous um, the first one that I bought was like half the size and I was like content with it it like lasted me a while but then when I got this I was like oh crap this is so big I remember when I used this a few months back I loved it so so much my skin was just like super super nice I remember talking about this in like uh, one of like my first makeup hauls that I did on my channel and I talked about this one and I've loved it ever since all right next up is another holy grail of mine that I cannot live without and I just ran out of this product like a week ago and I freaked out and so I bought it again <laughs> all right so this is the Clinique dramatically different moisturizing lotion and I've you guys already seen this so so many times on my channel Channel. and this lotion is made for very dry to dry combination skin I am combination to oily skin but it's a lot more moisturizing than your average face cream um, I know that they have the same one in like a gel formulation and that one's geared towards more of the oily skin girls so it's not like too too moisturizing where it just kind of slides around on top of the oils Ooh, I love this stuff so so much next up I picked up the Anastasia stick foundation and this is the color mink which is one of like their contouring shades I have already tried the Anastasia stick foundation and I am in the color tan and I really really love it. I have always had problems with um, cream contouring. I've always wanted to do like a really nice you know flawless cream contouring. The only cream contour that I've tried was from LA Girl and um, I've said this in other videos but I think that that particular concealer dries up way too fast so that when I go in and blend it just kind of sticks onto my face really oddly and it just kind of looks like a really big brown mess on my face. Um, so since I love the formulation of the stick foundation I just wanted to give this little guy a try. So this is in the color mink and this is more so a contouring color rather than like an all over like bronzing color because it is very very cool toned. Um, I'm gonna do a little swatch. But yeah, there it is. A very, very cool tone color. And this is the color I actually used on my cheeks today. Um, I used it underneath my Anastasia contour kit. I used this one just to set this guy on my face. Went ahead and buffed it in with a synthetic brush, which is amazing for cream products. I loved it so, so much. It was just so easy to blend and it didn't like settle into my skin really oddly. And it was just, it was such a nice experience for me. I had to pick up another beauty blender. Um, you guys know I'm obsessed with the beauty blender. Everyone on this planet is obsessed with the Beauty Blender and I've never had the black one before. I've had the pink one, I've had the tan one, and now I have a black one to add to my little collection. Next up is another Holy Grail product of mine and this is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. Man, I got a lot of Anastasia stuff. I just noticed. Uh, but yeah, this is the Clear Brow Gel. I've used this ever since I was in high school. This is freaking amazing. I don't... Like, I don't even know what to say about it because it's so like, everyone knows about the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, you know? This one is so good because it keeps your brow hairs like super glued onto your face. It's amazing. Like your eyebrow hairs like will always stay perky if you want it to move up and it'll stay in place all day. I have another Holy Girl product and this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. This is hands down my absolute favorite concealer on the entire planet. Um, I do really like the, sh the Tarte Shape Tape one um, but I feel like I don't know, at times I develop these really dry patches around my nose and underneath my eyes. Um, so when I use a tart, the Tarte Shape Tape, it just kind of 
balls up in those areas and it just really dries out my skin and especially if I want to bake with the Tarte Shape Tape, it just kind of like draws out all the moisture from my face. Um, but this one is just my baby. I've never ever found anything wrong with this concealer and I'm in the color medium light neutral. This, oh my gosh. If you guys haven't tried this concealer by now, I don't know what you guys are doing, but you have to at least like just once. All right, so the last couple of things I have is all from NYX Cosmetics. And I love, love NYX so, so much because they are really good products at a very affordable price. So the first thing I wanted to try out was their NYX Angel Veil. Primer. I was contemplating on getting the Benefit Professional because I ran out of it completely, which I'm so sad of. Um, I was gonna buy it, but I was like, uh, I don't know. I love that primer so much, but I just wanted to try something new. And plus, that primer can get a little bit pricey. I tried this primer out for the first time on my face today, and it is like a super, super. Oh my god, I flipped you guys off. <laughs> uh, but this is a very white color, and the consistency is very similar to the Benefit Professional, but it's different at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. Um, but it feels really nice and super, super velvety and it melts into the skin quickly. I feel like this one is just a little bit thicker than the Benefit Professional. You do have to rub it in just a little bit more to get all of like the product, you know, nice and even on your face. But it feels so, so good. Um, I don't know, it's very compatible with the Benefit Professional is all I'm saying. And um, right now I have a lot of texture on my face, um, a lot of like pimple scarring from, you know, me popping my pimples all the time. And I just have like a lot of bumps on my face. So this one did a really good job at like making sure that everything was as smooth as possible. So this is the NYX Retractable Lip Liner and this is in the color Natural. I've tried their NYX, I've tried their lip liners before but it was in like the wooden pencil. Kind. So I wanted to see if this one is a different formulation. It's saying that this is waterproof, so I'm very interested to see if that means it'll stay on forever. Um, so basically it is a retractable one and this is why I got it because I didn't want to keep sharpening my pencil. I wanted to take this to school and stuff. I lined my lips with this today and also filled it in. And I put another lip color that I'll show you on top. This one is so freaking creamy. I think this is a lot more creamy than their pencil one. So I think I actually like this one a lot more. And on top of that, I decided to try a new NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream color. And this is in the color Dubai. But this one is so, so pretty. I don't know how to explain the color of it. So I have that one as a first layer. And then of course I had to pick up another of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams in the color of London. You guys know this is like legit my most favorite, favorite nude of all time. Um, so I just had to get another one because I ran out of like my old one. And I put this color just right in the center of my lips on top of Dubai. And I actually really like the lip combination of all these three products. Um, I don't know, it's really, really pretty. And then the last thing that I have from NYX is the NYX Butter Gloss. And this is in the color Madeline or Madeline. I've never tried their glosses before, so I'm super excited. I was gonna get some more Anastasia um, lip glosses, but I was like, crap, I'm already spending so much money. So I just decided just to try the next one out. So this is a little bit cheaper. Um, this one is super, super pretty. Ooh. I like how like they're all like in a similar color range, but this is like my color palette at the moment. It's like my favorite, but this one is so, so pretty. I've heard really amazing things about the NYX lip glosses. So I, I, I wasn't like surprised about how beautiful it was, but this is so incredibly pigmented and it's just so, so glossy and it stays glossy. I've tried this on like a couple times just walking around the house just to see how it feels. And it feels amazing. <laughs> the last couple of things I'm going to show you guys is some little PR packages. Nothing too crazy. The first one I want to show you guys is from Amazing Cosmetics. And you guys know I love them. I've worked with them in a giveaway before. They are an amazing brand. The people who work there are so, so incredibly nice. So they sent me a brand new product that hasn't come out yet. And I feel so honored. So they are coming out with a foundation. Um, so this is the Amazing Cosmetics Amazing Concealer Foundation. Oh yeah, and I'm in the color medium beige. This is actually a little bit too light on me. Um, just a little bit too light because I tan easy in the summertime, so I'm getting a little bit darker in my complexion. So the first thing that it says is that it hydrates. So this is good for the girls who have a little bit more of a dry complexion and also says that it protects the face. Um, it has antioxidants to defend skin from damaging free radicals, which is basically bad stuff that kind of floats around in our air. The actual consistency of the foundation is super, super different. It's something that I have never like seen before. Um, it's not like a mousse 
but it's not liquid. It's like right in the middle. It's so weird. I did try it out today and I would say that it is a very, very natural foundation. It did take away all of the redness and all of my discoloration, but you could still see my freckles through. And the finish wasn't super matte, but it wasn't super like shiny. It's more on like the velvety kind of look. It's like more satin. There you go. This hasn't launched yet, but I'll leave all of that information down below for you guys. The last couple of things I want to show you guys is from Sigma Beauty and they just came out. Well, they didn't just come out with it. It's kind of been around for a little bit, um, but it's one of their more recent launches and it's part of like their highlighting little collection. It does come with three different highlighting brushes and also it comes with these gorgeous, gorgeous pigments over here. They're all loose pigments and some of them are loose glitters. It's just so, so pretty. And my most favorite brush from their collection is their High Cheekbone Highlighter or the F03. So basically this is a very, very dense highlighting brush. Because it's so dense, it's gonna pick up a lot of product. So if you want like a pop and highlight, this is what you need. This one is the Felicity Loose Shimmer. This is like one of my most favorite ones out of all of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it for you guys because it's so gorgeous. Ooh, do you guys see that? That is freaking pretty. Um, it is so pretty on the lid. It is super, it's not like super reflective, but it catches the light so beautifully. It has a very, very gorgeous sheen to it. Um, but I'm gonna swatch this color for you guys. It's called Zeal. This is another blue shimmer. Uh, swatch it over there. Oh yeah, that one is, oh my gosh, let me do it again. That was so, woo! This one would look so good as a highlight. So I am an affiliate with Sigma, so I do have a 10% code for you guys. So I'll have Sigma's website linked down below for you guys, as well as the 10% off discount. And if you guys aren't comfortable with affiliate codes, then just go ahead and go to Sigma Beauty, find it on Google, all that good stuff. Of course, I'll have all the products that I mentioned listed down below for you guys. And of course, I'm gonna have the wig information down below, like their website, their social media links, and the link to the wig that I have right now. So thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video in the meantime I love you guys with all of my hearts and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye guys <laughs>